What's up, super friends? So for today, I wanted to share with you five of some of my favorite custom Batman action figures and the ones that I've been working on fairly recently. So this one here was actually made from a recipe consisting of the Super Friends Batman. So you might recognize the head sculpt. Now, I did use some acetone and I got the black off of his face so that it's more just the blue. But this is basically the Super Friends Batman action figure. But the belt comes from the Attack Armor Batman action figure that came out in 2004, the really, really, really rare one. That's where the belt comes from. And the cape actually comes from the Mattel Public Enemies Batman. And the cape actually is not a perfect match for the blue. It is just a little bit different, but it's close enough that when it's on the shelf or you're taking photos of it, it really doesn't stand out that much and it still looks fabulous together. So this is a very simple one that I did. It was just removing the black from Batman's cowl, replacing the cape, and doing a simple belt swap. And voila, we have a nice blue and gray oval Batman with a pouch belt. And I really like this look and I'll, I'll probably leave him just this way. Next we have my reimagining of the New 52 Batman. He's kind of cobbled together from two different New 52 Batman figures. So the head and cape are actually from the DC Collectibles New 52 Batman figure. And the body is from the Mattel version of the New 52 Batman. However, the belt is from a DC Direct Batman Incorporated Batman action figure. And I think when you put these all together, they look fabulous. I also do want to point out that I repainted the Batman figure with a nice shiny silver auto paint. Just, I wanted it to stand out. I know this is not the Batman that you would be terrified to meet in a dark alleyway because on account of him looking all bright and all, I just think that he strikes a really cool looking figure. And then I sprayed the whole thing over with dull coat because the paint was really shiny. And the new 52 Batman head is actually a really shiny head too. So I sprayed the whole thing over with dull coat and I think that the end result really looks quite fabulous. So that's Batman number two. Next up is a really simple modification I made to a DC Multiverse Justice League Batman figure, the one that is not in the tactical suit, so this is just his basic bat suit. But I never liked the cape that came with the figure because Mattel uses this really ugly pleather that rolls up and just looks terrible once you've handled it a few times. So that had to go and I had to replace it. And I had another one of those capes from the Mafex Batman figure lying around and it was really, really simple. It was just a matter of popping the neck piece off of the cowl here and the neck peg actually just goes right up in here. I just You just pop it off after popping the head off and I sewed the cape together, popped it you know, around his neck and I just put the cape right down like that and I super glued it right here at the front and popped the head back on and you can see that now Batman's cape actually does flow over his shoulders just a little bit by comparison to the one that just hung at his back that came with him and I think that it's an overall improvement. My third kit bash really is a Frankenstein of sorts because the body actually comes from a Justice League International Batman. The belt comes from the 10th anniversary DC Direct San Diego Comic Con exclusive Batman. And um, for the boots and the gloves and the outside trunks, they've all been repainted with a nice black metallic auto paint. And then the head comes from a new 52 J. Lee Batman figure and the cape comes from a regular New 52 DC Collectibles Batman figure. And when you put all these together, I think they look like a really neat black and gray pouch belt sort of look. I know that, you know, this kind of detailing right here, you wouldn't get in a basic Batman like this, but I mean, as a, as a kit basher, you tend to overlook little things here and there. And I think that this Batman looks fabulous with all these different modifications. I'll probably leave this Batman just like this as well. And finally, we have a custom that if you watch my channel enough, you've probably seen this one pop up in a few videos fairly recently, but it's also one of my favorite customs and I wanted to share the recipe. So this one here uses the exact same torso as one of the previous Batmans that I've shown. It's actually the DC Super Friends because it has the really large oval as opposed to the smaller yellow oval that you can get from the DC Universe Classics Wave Batman. It has a nice big one and I wanted to utilize that. However, I wanted to have a black and gray outfit as well. So... Obviously this Batman, the torso, didn't come with the black gloves, so I took a regular black and gray Batman DC Universe Classics figure, and I boil and pop the arms off from the bicep all the way down on both arms, and it's just a simple boil and pop, you just pop off the old ones, and then when the new ones are warmed up, you just pop them on, it's, it's a really simple switch, 
And so now the torso portion was out of the way. The head and the cape actually come from DC Direct Wave or Series 4 Arkham City Batman figure. And they fit on there really, really nicely. I did have to super glue the cape something fierce right up here to the top of his chest. Otherwise, it will sit and ride high and look a little bit unnatural. The belt for this figure actually comes from the DC Direct Secret Files Bruce Wayne Batman figure and that figure comes with a superb Jim Lee Batman head that you can use on a lot of your figures and it also comes with this belt so I've managed to buy a few of those on eBay over the years just to take those parts and I think that the yellow belt complements the bright yellow oval really nicely and you have the two-tone yellow here and I really like it overall and then the actual, again, from like the waist down, this is a regular DC Universe Classics black and gray Batman figure that I had to, if I'm not mistaken, with this one, no, this one I just managed to pop it apart really, really carefully. I didn't even have to drill the, the groin hole there. I just popped it apart really carefully, picked it apart, and yeah, just put it back together and glued it back together when it was sitting on the peg here. And we ended up with, in my opinion, a really nice rendition of a black and gray classic yet modern-ish pre-New 52 Batman figure with the long horns, the big yellow oval, and the yellow pouch belt all decked out in black and gray. So here we have all five of the figures that I've showed in the video together so you can get one last look at five of the customs that I've been working on as of late. And all these are fairly simple. None of them employ that advanced techniques. This one right here might be the most advanced because of not just changing the head, but changing the arms and removing the legs and taking the groin apart. And, you know, th th there's a bit more that goes into making this Batman, but really none of these are difficult to make. You really just have to have the kahunas to just try it yourself if you've never done it before. And you'll find out it's a lot easier than you think being a kit basher. I know there's some people out there that make it look like magic, but it really isn't that hard. All the hard work is typically done for you, all the sculpting and the painting. For the most part, if you're a kit basher, you're just taking them apart and putting them back together. But yeah, with that, I think we're done. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. If you've liked the video, please leave a like on it. Any comments you have, leave them down in the comment section below. If you think you might want to see more of my sort of content, show up in your inbox, just hit the subscribe button and ding the bell so that you never miss a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, DC Squad.